Hello, hi, good day. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so uh, today we talk about timer. Using timer is when you use timer, you do things. You want to do certain job repeatedly. Now I have a diagram right here. Now example, you do a task counting. Right, you don't count it one time, but you count it repeatedly. So then you need to specify when to repeat the task. Now I have a timeline here. The one symbolize one second. Elapsed one second, elapsed two seconds, elapsed three seconds. Now if you have the ta if you have this statement right here, it means that the TT simply means it's the timer task. Right, it's the task you want to do, and you will do it every two seconds. The two doesn't means two seconds. Now every two seconds, what you do, you go to the time timer task and go into its run methods. Uh, it's, I should say here, right? Flip over this. We come over here, right? There is the timer task, right? Go into the run methods. You do a counting. After that, you wait for another two seconds and do this job again. So as you can see here, right, we set a timer, and then we also create a run timer task, right, which is extending a timer task, and you put the task, which is as a one of the argument of the method schedule, and this timer will start doing for you, right? The timer will count. After every two seconds, it will take the task as specified in the timer task and do it. So that is what it means. And let's see, run the programs. I'm gonna use the uh, right now one two one two now it's put a counting one two one two right one two second one two second one two seconds one two one two you see every two seconds it start counting and I press stop it will just stop right now Another thing you want to, uh, you want, uh, I want you to uh, focus on is, right? We use a form, a form. So a form is just like a canvas. You can show it, show a form in the screen display by using this display dot set current form. Now before the form is showing to the display, right? You can add commands. You can set command listeners, so that means the form can have a exit buttons, right? Exit commands and a stop but and a stop uh, stop commands right here, and the millet will also listen to the user actions on these two command buttons. So this is specified here. Now as soon as the users press on the stop right which is equivalent to command stop then the timer dot cancels will execute that means no more repeated job right now as the repeated task started you call the form dot append to append a label on the form so that's why you have count one, count two, right? Because you have this form dot append. Okay, uh, thank you for so watching. Uh, you just learned about timers and a simple form. This is Ken now.